Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back to talk all things sewing bee. It's that time of year. Who saw the first episode last night? I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, it was a really, really good show. So for anyone who hasn't come across the series before, every week we hunt out the patterns that we see in the show. We've been doing it for well, maybe six or seven years, maybe seven years, maybe eight years, quite a long time. And we do it every year. Um, because one of the main things that everyone wants to know is what pattern everyone is sewing. So the made to measure challenge, we hunt it out for you so that you can sew the, well, if you want the patterns, you can get them yourself. So for first, so the first challenge is a technical challenge. The second challenge is an upcycling challenge. And the third challenge is the made to measure. So the first challenge, the technical challenge, they based this episode on, they were celebrating 10 years of the sewing bee so they kind of have recreated the challenges that they had in the first series. So the first thing they had to make last time was an A-line skirt and this time they did exactly the same, except they made it, I think, quite a lot harder. So they had a panelled denim skirt with top stitching and buttons down the front. Now think about that. How long did they have? Three hours and 15 minutes, which to me feels completely inhumane and I thought it's very interesting that none of them got it finished like no one got it even near finished can you imagine that amount of time and doing like six buttonholes alongside top stitching down each of the panels and the waistband I just thought it was absolutely wild um if you like that shape of skirt we thought that the grain line studio reed skirt was really similar to it buttons down the front it's got the panels the grain line reed skirt has also got um, a pocket on it as well, pockets as well. The only thing about it is it's cut slightly shorter than the one in the show, but if you like it, you could just extend it and make it a little bit longer. Before we move on, I just want to say that over the next 10 weeks, I'm filming this quite early each morning and there is a high chance, which I think you may have just heard, of my hearing my toddler shouting. So apologies if you can hear some squawking from time to time. It's just him. He is up and really ready for the day to start. So yeah. Anyway, second challenge, upcycling. They were upcycling a t-shirt. Um, I thought it was really interesting. The thing I thought my takeaway was how much easier the first series was. So they had to alter a neckline on a t-shirt. That was the upcycling challenge. This year, 10 years on, they have to make an entire garment out of it. So then final one, made to measure, the theme was day dress, which I'm not gonna lie, Rachel and I were quivering a little bit because day dress basically could be anything and finding the patterns for something that was such, so broad was quite um, overwhelming, but I think we did pretty well. So we're gonna start off with um, Elisa. I'm going to do them in alphabetical order. I'm just checking my laptop just to make sure I'm saying the right thing and I've got the right pattern. So she made a really beautiful wrap dress. She used a denim, which I thought was really, would have, was a really great choice, a kind of cream denim. And then she'd had this really kind of interesting sort of big utility style buckle on the side. I thought it would have been a really lovely dress had she finished it, but she was nearly there. But I felt so sorry for her. You could see as the show, as the episode went on, the absolute like ah uh, stress. Anyway, she made the Merchant of Mills Etta dress, and we're pretty sure it's that one. Um, it had the same proportions, so it's a lovely wrap style dress, ties at the side, gathering. It's such a gorgeous dress, and it was wildly popular last summer, which is when they were filming. So I'm pretty sure it is this one. And it's absolutely, I thought it was really great. And I really love this one. You can have it with sleeves or without, depending on what you want. So next up we have Alex. And Alex, we had another Merchant Mills dress, which was really great. I love it when they use independent designers. It makes me feel really like proud because um, it just feels, yeah, it's really exciting, especially like to have two Merchant Mills ones. Anyway, so the Hattie and Ellis dress was the one that she used and we kn I'm pretty sure it's that one. As soon as we saw it, actually Louise spotted this one, um, the, the darts around the neckline with a big kind of giveaway for it. It's got patch pockets on the front. 
Um, there's a seam at the waistline with gathering. There's um, little sleeves as well. It's such a lovely pattern. It's a kind of one that loads of people, I mean, it's kind of one of their old patterns, but a lot of people have made this. And yeah, that neckline is just really interesting. So that one was that. Next up, we have got Comfort. She made, a, I thought she played a really good game because actually the dress she made was really simple. And I think it was a really good play because she obviously wanted to get it finished which she did and I think on the week one you just want to like be in the middle and not you know just push yourself but not kind of over challenge yourself and I thought she picked a really good option so she picked the pattern that she used is the we're pretty sure it's a simple sew cocoon dress um it has a seam down the front it's that slightly cocoon shape there are pockets um v-neck and little grown on sleeves I'm also going to say, sorry, this is very, um, a bit all over the place. This is because it's early in the morning. Um, if you think I've got it wrong, which is also quite likely, or you've got a better suggestion, please comment down below because I want this to be, it's not me preaching, it's us having a conversation about what patterns it could be. And because we're not together all the time to talk about it, I, um... Yeah, so if you've got thoughts on any of the patterns, let us know because we're always game and every year I make we make mistakes and someone also, well not mistakes, but someone finds the exact right one and I'm always delighted. So please just let us know. So that one was Comfort. Then we had Don's. Um, he made a kind of high neck sleeveless panel dress and it was quite a simple shape and then he added which I he sort of said he decided to do, he added go days in it to make it to give it more flair so I decided I think the go days were something that he'd like almost like a hack that he'd added in so I decided to look for a panelled dress the one that I thought worked perfectly and was almost spot on was the Butterick B6850 I'm not I'm pretty I mean, it could be, because the shape was so simple, it actually could have been a lot of different patterns, but I thought this one would work perfectly. It's got the panels, you could add the go days in, and it's the shape is completely right, and it's a really kind of classic shape as well. So that one, I think we did pretty well on. Then we've got Georgie, which I was quite excited by, because she was wearing the pattern that she made for the made to measure, um, it was the Brigitte Hemelson gather dress. As soon as she said it was zero waist, I was like, great, it's definitely that one. And she was wearing it. And what made me chuckle even more is then when I went to look at the listing of the pattern, so I'll show you the pictures, and her next to it, she's almost wearing it, the same fabric that was in this, the sample. Um, it's such a lovely pattern, this one. It was, again, not maybe not last summer, but the summer, it was a really big pattern. And everyone was making it. And it's so like loosey goosey and I thought it was a really clever one to make for a day dress because you don't have that many fit kind of issues with it. So yeah, I was really, really chuffed with that. Next up, we've got Janet. Now, I think Janet is going to be someone potentially that we can't do each week because she self-drafted and the dress that she self-drafted was so unusual. I just looked at it. And Rachel and I both like, we're never going to find this. Nothing like this exists. So it had a seam line underneath the bust and it had this line. It was kind of gathered, but kind of twisted and gathered on the top. Then it had this kind of very large, almost like a waist, but waist panel that went from just below the bust to um, almost the hip. And then there was a gathered panel. So it was really unusual shape. And I just thought, we're never going to find this. So Janet might be our like tricksy one and there is always a tricksy one each year. So I, I wasn't able to find anything like it. Next up we had Lauren and this one was really tricky. It was really quite a simple dress but we looked for ages and ages. I don't think we've got this perfect so any suggestions I am really game because it was annoying me so much. Essentially a very simple strappy v-neck dress um, it's got, it had um, seams running down, like princess seams right down the front of the dress. You, I was thinking, well, there'll be like eight or ten to pick from. No, 
there wasn't I couldn't find anything it was the v-neck and the the seam lines I just couldn't find the one that I found that we found that was closest is the Nomi 2032 now this was gorgeous really lovely dress I actually don't think this dress had this pattern had even been released when the show was filmed so I'm I'm fairly sure it's not right but if you love that style this is definitely a very good option but please let us know if you know which one it is because it was winding both of us up last night um very late then we've got luke um his was a really lovely dress it had a bit of a vintage feel to it um it was an uh one that rachel saw and was like i know exactly what that one is it's the eleanora dress from vicky sews because it's quite distinctive um, this is such a lovely pattern if you haven't seen it. It's like a kind of utility day, um, shirt dress. Um, all of the kind of details on it are quite oversized, which gives it, I think, a really interesting and quite a modern sort of take. So it's got a, a belt and buttons down the front and pocket details. And actually, there's a lot of detailing on this dress. It was quite a complicated make for that amount of time. So I thought he did really fantastically and the result was great at the end. Then we have got Neil, oh no, sorry, then we've got Marcus. Um, Marcus made a really lovely, simple, quite a simple day dress. This one we're kind of, I would say we're 70% sure we're right. Thoughts and feelings on this one. Um, it was V-neck, button down the front, um, waist seam, gathered skirt panel. I thought it was potentially the Megan Nielsen Darling Range dress, which is such a kind of old school cult classic dress and actually looking at it again I was like this is such a nice shaped dress I haven't looked at it for ages so um, I'm pretty sure that one was right then we have got Neil and he was using a vintage pattern and it was one actually that I've never seen before um, even the brand I'd never heard of so it's Mordella and the pattern number is 5977 to be honest with you, I looked for ages. I couldn't even find a picture online of the cover of the um, pattern. So the picture that we're using is the one actually that we screen grabbed from the show last night. So that one, if you love that one, I think that would be a really hard hunt. <laughs> um, then we've got Pasha. Now she, her dress I thought was beautiful. Um, it was one of those patterns that I knew I'd seen before, but I just couldn't think where. Um, but managed to find it. It's the Vicky Sews Nola dress. It's so beautiful, this one actually. So it, it has um, a little seam line underneath the bust, a square neckline, little cap sleeves, kind of puff cap sleeves. Then it has shearing at the back. Um, and I spent ages looking for this one, but anyway, found it at the last minute. It was like, yes, that is the right one. So last but not least, we've got Susie and her dress this louise found this one because she was sleuthing as well oh, well it's not just rachel and me now um it used to be but now we've got louise and mel and christina and they all kind of put in with ideas so this one is from gracie steel um it's a designer we don't have on the site um and it's called the frolic frock and this one was quite distinctive because it has this i'll show you the line drawing of it this sort of um seam detail that goes underneath the bust so it's quite kind of vintage style little strap dress shearing at the back and then um it's quite a kind of flared skirt but um yeah she found that one and as soon as we saw the seam lines we were like yep yeah, that's bang on so that is it i think that's everyone isn't it yes yeah, so that is everyone and um it was really it was really enjoyable and we were really sad to see I shouldn't I, maybe I'm not going to say who goes each week because I feel like that then I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it yet um yeah but we'll be back next week with the next week's video and we're really excited about it and yeah we well, hope you'll join us so we'll see you very very soon bye